<laughs> Good morning, guys. Coda Boy 32 here in this episode. This is part 10 of the chest rig build. This is the Condor modular chest rig. Stand by. All right, this here is Coda Boy 32. Hey guys, go to boy 32 here and uh, hey, check it out, man. Got my coffee, got my uh, Condor modular chest rig. Now this is part 10 of a series that I've done on a chest rig build. Now one of the purpose of this chest rig is to be able to take it, condense it, put it into a travel bag, place it in the trunk of my car or in the apartment or the hotel or whatever I may be staying in at the time so that it gives me the ability this is not for an offensive use this is for totally uh an evasion i don't want to come into contact with people but i need to be able to defend myself i need to be able to provide myself with some food shelter water so this with all the research that i did i felt like this fit the bill and not only did it meet two criteria when it fit the bill and number two i was able to afford it at the time so uh, one of the things I wanted to do is not spend $250 just on the, the chest rig itself. Now this is not a plate carrier by any means. We've got a plate carrier coming down the road here that's going to be a little bit more set up for like a home defensive measures, you know, in case the shit hits the fan. Yeah, I have enough firearms to put on every corner of the building and I've got enough military guys in my neighborhood that I've got a, we've got everything assigned, which is kind of crazy, but you know, whatever. All right, so without further ado, let's get to it, man. All right, so this is the Condor modular chest rig. And guys, I tell you what, in Condor, typical Condor fashion, uh, you know, a lot of times they're hit and miss on a lot of different products, but I gotta, uh, gotta let you know, this thing is pretty nice. Now, I've actually had this chest rig put all together. I took it all apart. I've tested it. I've run around with it. I was amazed at literally how heavy it was when it was completely compa loaded down with things. I remember back in the day, you know, when we had the, uh, maybe just that I'm getting old, who knows, but you got your, you know, your LBE, uh, your Alice pack, and we wore, I had the extra large Alice pack, your butt packs, your, your uh, NBC mask, a bunch of other things, you know. We were typically carrying a load, I guess, around 150 pounds maybe, but my had big old fat ass with this thing, it weighed in at right around 45 pounds, fully loaded. And I was amazed at just how heavy it was. But anyway, let's talk about this thing. All right, so Kedora material all the way around. We'll go ahead and take these little tabs off here and a little patch there. Then I'll apply in this measure. But let's start from top to bottom. Okay, so uh, we're equipped with a pull handle. One of the things I do like about the pull handle, it has this little Velcro attachment so you can have it secure it down and that way you don't have to worry about anything now this thing is very strong the actual pull tabs do run down through the back here the shoulder straps look how wide those are those the one things i, I do like is the width of these things because it does disperse the load over a wide area you're not going to find any binding points on your uh on your shoulders with that so we're gonna put those down right there. You've got two attachment points right here and here, and then I'll go into what these are for later on. Uh, this particular model, the modular chest rig, is equipped with a bladder bag back here. So you've got a bladder pouch that you can go ahead and put your uh, hydration bladder in. That's kind of the, one of the other reasons I bought this thing. Number two, another Velcro attachment here, and really cool deals you've got all these amali attachments back here now another reason why i went ahead with this versus say let me see let me go ahead and pull it out here because we're going to do a review on this one also this is the condor recon and it's built more like a high speed low drag deal you're going to be able to wear your vest with this thing all kinds of neat stuff or but there's no backing on it okay and because I wanted something that was self-contained, that's what we went with. But anyway, in a couple minutes, we're going to go ahead and do a full review on this bad boy. All right. And what we're going to do after I get done with this, I'm going to take you outside. We've got the display table set up with all the neat stuff that we're going to go ahead and put on this. And then next week, we'll do the install video of all this stuff. So anyway, a lot of Molly attachment back here in the back. 
Uh, and as you know, I do have the, uh, the butt pack, which is one of the good things that will attach to this thing and ride quite nicely. Okay, moving to the side. Now right, let's go ahead and top to bottom, baby, top to bottom. Go ahead and do a JMPI on this thing. <laughs> All right, so uh, a lot of Molly attachments up here. Moving down, you get three on the each shoulder strap, some attachments there. You got some uh, attachment points here with a little D-ring. This is the little uh, bib that comes with it. Now, there's a lot of Amali attachments here. There's some Velcro attachments here. Now, one of the reasons for this Velcro attachment or Velcro piece right here is to secure it to the lower portion of the rig. So you kind of give it a continuity between the two. I'm, I'm a rather large, so a lot of times I just use the uh, Velcro attachment. Now inside of the bib, there is a little map case or a little thing that you can put some odds and ends in, pens, paper, whatever you need, keep them close to your heart. All right, so you got some uh, big buckles here. This is, uh, you know, your plain old plastic material. And we're gonna do some detailed shots. You gotta stay tuned until the end of the video. A lot of times what I like to do is I'll do some individual shots showing all the little itty, itty bitty details of the things that are important to me and I feel that are important to you guys. There's some elastic bands here so you can go ahead and pull over top of your excess strap. There, this strap right here has a little Velcro so you can stow that. These things are fully adjustable so you can pull those in and out. I like to keep them tight because I like my chest rig riding high. I don't want anything binding on my waistline. Okay, so uh, let's go to the front section of the bib itself. As you can see, there's quite a bit of space here. There's some Velcro interior pockets on each side. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect these just to get them out of the way. There we go. It's got this really nice air material here. Same thing on this side here, okay? This thing attaches like so. You can either you can either drop into it from the side or from the bottom. A lot of times when it's, when it's loaded, I can't go in from the, uh, the bottom. So I'll just uh, try to flip it into one side or I'll open this thing up and just go into it. That's the nice part about it. You can pull this bib to the side, put it on just like a vest. And the first thing you're gonna do and we'll go ahead and show this in a minute. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these in like that. And then we'll do that. Clip those on and then your front side is done. A lot of Molly attachments up here and one of the things that you'll see laid down the road, like I said, I'm a big old fat guy. I don't intend on doing a whole lot of running. So if I get in a situation where I am going to have to defend myself against multiple Target. So let's just say I'm going to have to lay down the rounds. So right now this rig is set up for six magazines and I'll show you. Got some magazines here. And you know, you guys know how this works. You pull the tab away and you got the little elastic thing. Now you can put up to six magazines in here, which is a capacity of 180 rounds. Down the road, what I do is I put double mag pouch, double mag pouch over here. So I'm carrying an additional eight magazines which will put me to a capacity of 640 rounds, I think, if I've done the math right. And then I'll put another set of 20-round uh, magazines up here along with my pistol mag. So anyway, that we'll go into that down the road, but you've got the uh, pull tabs here. You know what, not so sure if you can put two magazines in there. I've never really tried it. Would be interesting to see. It is a tight fit, but look at that, you sure can. I don't know if you're gonna do it all the way across. We can definitely try, stand by. Because that would eliminate the need down the road for quite a bit. It's a tight fit, I don't know if it's designed for that. You may end up running into some issues down the road by overstressing material. And usually, if it's not designed for it, but look at that, you sure can. You can double stack that bad boy. Didn't even know that. <laughs> okay. Well, that kind of changes things for me, but I think for the time being, I'm gonna keep the, uh, the setup that I have and just put the single mags in there. So one of the things that I like to do is I'll, these uh, mag pouches are really, really nicely uh, compatible with either your mil-spec magazines or your, uh, your P-mags. 
Okay, so the Magpul magazines work like a wonder in there. So anyway, guys, that's it. Let's talk about the material here real quickly. Everything's double stitched. The uh, Molly attachments, the Molly webbing looks really, really good. Like I said, I've, I've had this thing in the field several occasions. Never had any issues with it as of yet. It does wear very comfortable. We're gonna take the uh, camera out here in a minute. I'm gonna put it, put it on so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm gonna put it on with just the carrier as the way it sits right now. And then, like I said, next week, we'll go ahead and get involved into the full blown setup. All right, guys, this is a pretty cool thing here. Uh, what you're looking at is a display table that has uh, just basically everything that's gonna go on this chest rig, okay? With exception of some magazines and things like that. But uh, essentially, from the last couple weeks we've been review, we've got the bud pack, uh, just the general kit here, cleaning kit, holsters, um, first aid pouch here. You got some uh, D-rings. We've got the hy hydration bladder and some gloves, but basically that's it. Other than, you know, you got some, a tourniquet we're gonna throw in there. We're gonna do some additional uh, first aid kit items and food, socks, clothes that will go into the butt pack. But what I want to do is now is show you from a standpoint, this is what the modular chest rig looks like standing up. Now what I've done is gone ahead and, and installed six mil spec magazines in here and I'm going to show you how I put this thing on and what it looks like on a human body. Now just to give you an example, I'm six foot two ish so you're right at six foot two and about 260 pounds and i've got a very large frame upper body so anyway oh and one of the things that i did miss was there's some snap dot fasteners here that snapped on the back back there so anyway what we'll do i'll go ahead and put this thing on just like this i'll disconnect one side of the chest bib and you just put the thing on just like this. And then place it just like that. Put your clips in. And then reattach your bib session here. Now, one of the things that, uh, this is how it comes from uh, Condor with your uh, chest bib attached on those points. There's two adjustments two different uh, snap dot fasteners one high and one low that you can do and I found that the chest bib section here still rode a little low for my taste it might not right now but anyway um, there's a lot of attachment uh, adjustment straps back here that you can see and this is basically how it fits just like that and easy access if you're carrying a firearm you know pull your mags out i gotta get those aimed in the right direction and you're done you're in very easy to insert the mags once you do have it on and but the intent is is that this guy's going to have a couple of these on each side of it so i can carry additional magazines in here and it'll be loaded to the hilt all the way up through here but uh what i found in the past is i like to go ahead and hang the chest bib section from one of these upper loops here so it hangs a little higher a little up here and uh go from there so anyway guys um 49.95 off of amazon you get the, the prime membership to ship it off oh and guys by the way if you like the video thumbs up here down below right there and uh Hey, subscribe if you like what you got. We've got a lot of cool things. We're gonna be doing a lot of range stuff. Uh, my barrel did not come in for my Larson build, so we're gonna push that off to next week, but we have a pistol build that we're starting on, and those will run coincide with one another. I hate having two builds going on at the same time, but what do you do? But that's basically it, man. Next week, we're gonna go ahead and install all this crap on here, show you what it looks like, how much it weighs, and uh, we'll go from there. guys. With that being said, God bless America. God bless his men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. It's code of boy 32, out.